Hey everybody, how you doing today? It is October 25th, 2020, and we are going to get into some more of California shutting off, you know, more and more people's power. This is actually from two days ago from the Washington Post, says that California's devastating wildfire season may worsen Sunday. Power shutoff could eclipse one million people. Okay, now we are getting, you know, into almost November, right? And for this to continue and just keep going, I just, you know, I, I just, I don't even, I can't even think. I can't even talk now because what these people are going through is what I'm trying to get out. I just feel horrible that these people are dealing with this. And it's not just California. You know, we've had Oregon, Washington, Colorado, Arizona, New Mexico, Nevada, Utah. I mean, it's just been an attack, you know, and these are, these are targeted, you know, we know weather warfare is happening, okay? Uh, let's read this real quick. It says, Northern California faces what may be its most perilous fire weather event of the devastating 2020 wildfire season, beginning Sunday and lasting into Tuesday. So this is why I had to make this video. When they talk like this, you know you know what I mean. When they start talking like this, we have to get this information out. You have to share this stuff. Talk to your family. Talk to your friends. If you know anybody in these areas, please give them a heads up because, you know, I could see them, some of them, um, you know, not taking it for granted, but, uh, you know, t like taking a step back. You're getting to the end of the end of the season, the fire season, and it's been so bad, you know, and you would think that now that time is, you know, things are cooling down and... Uh, everything else you think that they they might just not be paying attention completely like they were say two months ago or a month ago so we have to definitely get this information out there it says the weather pattern will feature fierce dry winds blowing from higher elevations down to the valley floors including the san francisco bay area at a time when vegetation is at a record dry level yeah it's only at that because that's what you want oh it's frustrating i just feel for these people it says, in preparation for the dangerous fire weather conditions, Pacific Gas and Electric Company plans to preemptively cut power to at least 1 million residents to avoid having its power lines spark yet another deadly blaze. Well, hold on a second, right? Um, have they stopped? I'm pretty sure there's been one deadly blaze after another every single year. Same thing with this year. So, um... I don't think them shutting the power off is doing anything. They're doing it because they want to shut the power off. They want that control, right? You know, we've been seeing this over and over again, how they are shutting, you know, taking out the power grid, seeing how far they can push us. You know, every one of these things we know is not only a test, but it's a drill to them, right? It says, look at it, it says, this would be one of the largest deliberate power cuts taken since the shutoffs began as a fire deterrence measure revealing an event in October 2019. Yeah, because, you know, obviously the, you know, Paradise Campfire, right? Ever, ever since then, ever since they destroyed that town, turned that town literally into ash, killed all those poor people, trapped them all in there. And now because of that, now they're able to shut your power off, take your, you know, take away your right to have your power, you know, at any time that they want, Right. You know, they're going to go into saying how it's, oh, it's the climate change, blah, blah, blah. We're not going to get into that, all right? We're going to jump to these next few because these are going to be closer, okay? Here we go again. Look at this. This is, this is from today, okay? And it says, power cut to 117,000 customers as California faces fire risk, okay? It says, San Francisco, it says, PG&E cut power Sunday to more than 100,000 California customers and planned outages for many more to prevent the chance of sparking wildfires because of extreme fire weather, right? And I've been talking to you about this, like you saw it in the movie Geostorm, how I covered that, how extreme weather, right? They talked about it, oh, well, we had extreme weather, but they didn't know what extreme was, right? They're always showing us, they're always telling us, and they're always getting it out there in front of you because number one they like that they like they get a kick out of being able to put it out in front of you and get away with you not knowing what it is you know that's how evil what is going on is you know but it goes on it says more than one million people could be affected by planned outages as california braces for the return of gusty winds and bone dry weather that carry the threat of downing or fouling power lines and other equipment which in recent years have been blamed for igniting massive and deadly blazes now you want to know what what's what's caused it d-e-w 
directed energy weapons. That is one of the ways. Now, I'm sure, you know, we know they're using other ways too, okay? You know, we, we, we've caught them doing so many things and it doesn't stop, okay? All we can do is continue to share this information. Maybe, you know, eventually we can get, um, you know, some something fighting back against them. But right now, the best, you know, thing that I can do and that you can do is we can warn people. We can get people to know what's going on. This is from Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, okay? So today, tomorrow, and Tuesday. So you need to be prepared. And if you can get out of these areas, if you're going to be in any of these areas and you and your family are there, if you can take a two-day, three-day break and go see family, go, you know, take a little vacation, whatever you can do, right? I would do it. If you can't, we all understand, you know, money is, is tight for everyone. So if you can't leave, you don't have, you know, the means to be able to do it, then, you know, you just need to be ready and aware of what could happen, right? You just don't want to be trapped in a situation where all of a sudden you, you know, open up your door and you see these fire and it's literally within, you know, a couple, you know, half a mile or, or even a mile, the way these things move. Oh, and you notice how they're always happening overnight. We were just talking about this in the Colorado ones. I have had subscriber after subscriber talk to me about they live right in these areas where these, you know, these wildfires are happening in Colorado. And they said they're 100% they're not natural. They continue to explode overnight. They continue to have all of these patterns that are so obviously that there are not natural fires. So trust me, our information is getting out there. People are seeing this, okay? Here we go. This is from three hours ago. It said, here's what's closing in on the Bay Area due to likely power shutoffs, fire danger. It says, businesses and parks across the Bay Area are planning closures ahead of expected strong winds and extremely low humidity weather conditions starting Sunday, which have prompted potentially widespread safety power shutoffs. Oh, man. You know, how many people, when you're talking a million people, how, how many people uh, need their power? They could have life support equipment. They could have any type of medical equipment, right? You know, anything that is keeping people alive. And not even that. What else does this do, everybody? Especially if they cut this off for more than, say, like an hour or two. If they cut this off for 12, 24, you know, 36, 48 hours, think about what you do. It loses all your food. You you know, think about how it makes you vulnerable. We've been talking about how they do this with all these different types of not natural disasters, okay? They, you know, get you in positions where you are so vulnerable. And this is another way right here. Not only when they shut the power off, could it eventually knock your food supply down? But guess what? That means that your cell phone couldn't be charged possibly. You may not have the TV on, obviously, to be able to get what? To be warned, okay? That's why this is so important to share this information, please. It says these dry conditions are expected to create extreme fire danger for the region. It says here is a look at what is closing in, closing or making preparations to withstand the looming dry windy conditions and the potential shutoffs expected Sunday. The parks, okay, it says East Bay Regional Park District said the following parks and recreation areas in their coverage area will be closed. Okay, uh, you can you can see all the different parks here. Okay, we're going to kind of jump through this. Uh, there always will be, my links are always in my description if you want to go back and you want to actually read each, you know, part of it and look into it if you're in these areas, okay? Okay. Um, but let's just keep going. All right. This says in uh, Marin County, the mountain uh, Tamalpius watershed is closed. I'm sure I butchered that one, but uh, <laughs> sorry. This says in Solano County, Rockville Park and open spaces are closed until 6 a.m. Tuesday. See, look at this. What I'm talking about. That's two days. Okay. So are they going to shut these power off for two days? It says in Sonoma County, park closures Sunday and Monday include Sonoma Valley. Uh, Shiloh Ranch and Foothill. Hood Mountain Park remains closed due to the glass fire damage, right? They're already just fighting to get, you know, to survive and rebuild and, you know, gather everything together from the glass fire and from these other fires that have happened this year, okay? You know, look at it. Napa County several remain closed due to the glass fire. All right. So we definitely, definitely need to share this information. Roads, look at the Bellina Fairfax Road in Marin County is closed until 5 a.m. Tuesday. That's two full days. This is this is this is a lot to me. When they're doing, usually it's like a 24, 12 hour to a 24 hour shutdown. Right now, when they're talking a two day thing like this, I really, really need you all to share this information, talk to everybody because 
I, it's not that I have a bad feeling. I just, we've seen this angle taken with them before, okay? So we need to be, you know, sharing this information. It says schools. The Branson School in Ross will close Monday due to loss of power. Do you see how they can control everything? They can control your every move due to these non-natural disasters. They're going to say, oh, these natural disasters due to these hurricanes, wildfires, flooding, tornadoes, derechos, whatever it is, right? They can then cut off your power or shut down areas or, you know, not allow you to go back into these force mandatory evacuations, you know, evacuations. They can do all these types of things because they are controlling the weather. All right, there's multiple schools. So, you know, everybody, like I said, check this all out. Look at all of them. So if you need this, this link will be in the description. Even look at this. I, this part I thought was um, kind of uh, ironic, right? Medical, look at clinics. East Bay Pediatrics said is Orlando location may be affected by a likely shutoff on Monday and possibly a few days after that. If a shutoff occurs, officials said that the Orinda location will be closed to patients' visits and flu clinics. Our staff will notify you by phone as soon as possible about changes to your appointment. See how serious they are about that? Oh, it's not just we're going to shut down the clinic. Oh, no. If you have an appointment to come get your flu vax, we'll make sure that we tell you your appointment is now changed to this time and you can come right then. See that? It's kind of ironic, right? Exactly. And we'll, we'll end up here with this last one. This was only about 15 minutes ago. Um, it's just another one. Riverside County, it says emergency power shutoffs due to strong winds could affect over 4,500 people in Riverside County. As of Sunday afternoon, the Glen Avon neighborhood in Jerupa Valley and the Cabazan area were being monitored by SCE for potential shutoffs. Okay, it's another power company that's going to shut off power. You know, and they throw these pictures up here, you know, oh, look, high voltage, oh, you know, it's just, you know, it's just control, okay? Southern California Edison said 4,775 customers in Riverside County could have their power shut off Monday due to a forecast of strong winds that will elevate fire danger. Oh, it's a forecast, right? A forecast that allows them to shut your power off and control your life. You have to see the steps that they do, Okay. As of Sunday afternoon, the Glen Avon neighborhood in Jeropa Valley and the Cabazan area were being monitored by SCE for potential shutoffs. When there are potentially dangerous weather condi conditions in fire-prone areas, we may need to call a PSPS event. During these events, we will proactively turn off power in high-risk fire areas to reduce the threats of wildfires, SCE said. You know, well, well, how come you've had all these years, how many years, and you still this is how you have to do it. Oh, that's the only way you can take care of this. You can't, sh you know, you have to shut their power off. How about you, um, there's plenty of places that have underground wire, you know. I I'm not saying that I know you could do that all up in these mountains. I'm just saying there's other ways that they could do this. They could at least do many things in certain areas, at least so, you know, like in your in your cities. Those could definitely be done underground. They they do it in other states. They could do it in those type of areas. That way you don't got to worry about these winds. Hmm. Seems like kind of a common sense thing that you could, you know, it's not something that could happen overnight, happen overnight, but they've had years and years and years. You want to know why it's not fixed? Why they haven't come up with some different scenario, whether it's underground or different types of, you know, power poles, whatever it is, because they don't want to. They want you vulnerable and they want to be able to control you. All right. But we're going to leave this here. I got to get this edited. I got to get it out to everybody because it is very, very important. So everybody continue to pray. Pray against everything that's going on right now, against the evil that's going on. And just know that your prayers and my prayers are making a massive difference. I talk to subscribers every single day. And I promise you what you're doing and what I'm doing is making a difference. And I thank each and every one of you for every comment and every time you talk about the information that are in my videos. And you share the information because we are truly helping people. Okay? So keep it up. We will continue to do this. We will continue to share this information. And we will continue to make a difference. All right? Everybody, stay safe, stay strong, no fear, no panic. Remember, this is what we're talking about. Do not fear this. Prepare right now, make a plan, and be ready. We'll talk to you soon. God bless.